Hey friends, it's Mari. I have a really fun project for honeybee stamps today using the really awesome big pickup cab and big pickup tailgate stamps and honey cuts. And I just have shown those there and I'm going to go ahead and get started on my project by stamping out both the front and back of this pickup with those two separate stamps. And I'm going to stamp them out onto some blue metallic cardstock using some black stays on ink. And this ink is really awesome because it doesn't smudge or anything like that on this metallic paper and it's just perfect and so I'm going to get those all stamped out and then I'm going to take the coordinating honey cuts and I'm going to get these the front and back pieces of my pickup truck cut out and ready for the next step so here is the really awesome farm fresh holiday six by six paper pad and this paper pad has some really cool papers in it that I wanted to use today for some paper piecing so here you can see two papers that I'm going to be using and I'm going to stamp again that big pickup cab and big pickup tailgate on each of these papers. So I'm going to use two of this really distressed looking paper and two of the black paper and I'm going to stamp those uh, all, both of those stamp sets out on those different papers and in that way I'm going to cut out some different pieces to glue onto my blue metallic cardstock to add some details to my pickup truck. So there you can see I'm just going to finish up here with my tailgate stamp for my big pickup um, on that distress paper and the black paper and now I'm also going to stamp both the front and back of the truck on some white Nina cardstock. Now here you can just see that I'm going to go ahead and take my cutter B scissors and I'm going to start cutting out bits of this paper. I'm going to start with the bumper and the grill of the front of my truck so my big pickup cab. I'm going to go ahead and trim out that bumper and then I'm going to go ahead and take Take my liquid adhesive, my honeybee glue tube, and I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to my, my truck. Before I do that though, I'm going to take a black marker and I'm just going to go ahead and outline the edges of my paper so that the, the edge of my paper is completely black and will just kind of nicely blend in with the ink lines on my truck. Now some of these pieces I have trimmed out here, you can see I'm going to add color to them before I glue them onto my truck. So for example, my headlights, I'm going to color those with some yellow Copic marker. And here I'm taking my distressing wedge and I'm actually going to distress that metallic paper a little bit because my pickup truck is, is supposed to kind of look like an older truck, an old farm truck, and I want it to look... Um, a little bit rugged and so that distressing tool is just going to help me achieve that by roughing up that metallic paper in that way and this is I just had so much fun making this and playing with this uh, truck. I think it's absolutely genius. Now I'm going to take some products to make my truck dimensional. So I'm going to add some Nuvo glaze to my headlights. I'm also going to add that to my windshield. And here you can see that my windshield, I've added some color to that with my Copic marker to make it look a little bit more authentic like an actual truck. And I've also, I'm just gonna take that Nuvo glaze and I'm going to add some, some dimension to make it actually look like the windshield of the truck is dimensional and actual glass and I think that just looks really cool. So it does take a little bit of time for this to dry so when I, I'm doing this process or this part of my project and then setting that aside so that this has a really good drying time so that when I'm ready to work on the next part of my project I'm not going to cause any problems with this uh, really dimensional adhesive this Nouveau glaze. So now this is all nice and dry and you can see that I've added the same sorts of things to the back including a little stamp on my um, license plate that says blessed and that comes from the pick up truck um or the pickup tailgate stamp and you can see all of the sentiments and those larger ones actually fit onto the tailgate which is so cool now I am actually making a little scrapbooking mini album today and so I'm going to show you how I'm going to create the center of my album. So I just cut the truck again using the dies and I cut a coordinating piece of really pretty cardstock from the holiday cheer paper pad. I'm just showing you this paper pad. I think it's so cool and it even has some sentiment strips in it. Now I use this kind of green sort of snowflake looking pattern paper and I'm going to glue that onto my white 
white pickup truck base. And this is going to be a little insert for my little book. Now I'm also going to be using the tailgate alphabet dies. I love these. And these actually fit perfectly onto that tailgate of the pickup trucks or of the big truck tailgate there. If you on the back, you wanted to create some sort of sentiment on there, you could totally do that as well with these coordinating dies since this alphabet fits into that space. Now I'm going to cut out the word elf because I'm going to be creating a little scrapbooking page here in my little mini book. And this is my little Christmas elf that we have our little elf on the shelf at our house. And I'm going to mat my little picture here on some white cardstock. I'm going to get that all trimmed up nicely. And that is going to go onto this little page in my little mini book that I'm creating here. I'm going to spell out the word elf with those coordinating letters that I cut from using that tailgate alphabet die set. And I'm going to just take a piece of white cardstock here that's the same width that's my photo. I'm going to score it and fold that over. I'm going to add some double sided tape to that and this is going to be a little hinge to make a flap on the back of my photograph. I'm going to stick that on the back of my photo to create that little flap in that way. Now to go ahead and get this all stuck down, I'm going to adhere this with some more of that double-sided adhesive. I'm going to go ahead and put that double-sided adhesive on the back of the flap. I'm just gonna trim the excess paper from the flap off. I'm gonna take that release paper off of the double-sided adhesive, and then I'm going to go ahead and stick this down to the base of my little mini book here. So I'll get that all burnished down and ready to go. And I'll also, at this point, stick down my little alphabet letters as well that spell out elf. I'm just going to use my tweezers and again the glue tube and get that all stuck down and adhered to the side of my photo. Now I also wanted to embellish underneath my little flap and make a little area for some journaling. So I'm going to use the really sweet Santa's Village stamp set for this. I'm going to take the sweet little elf from this stamp set. I'm going to stamp him out with some Copic friendly ink and then I'm just going to go ahead and do some really really simple Copic coloring here on my little elf. I'm going to use some red and green to color his little outfit, his hat, and so on. I'm going to use a little bit of E51 and E53 to color his little face. And I will go ahead and add, <clears throat> pardon me, some R20 to his little cheeks to create some little rosy uh, cheeks on my little elf. And I'm going to, of course, color my little candy cane red and white, or just red. <laughs> the stripes are going to be red and white on the candy cane. And that finishes up the coloring on my little elf. Now there is a coordinating uh, die set for Santa's Village. There's uh, uh, coordinating dies for all of those images in that set. And I'm going to use that coordinating die to cut out my little elf. I'm going to use a little bit of washi tape from my stash to embellish that little flap. And I'm using the A2 scallop frame set here. Here you can see that honeybee die cut set to create my little um, scallop journaling spot underneath my little flap. Now here I'm just going to go ahead and add my little rosy cheeks to my sweet little elf and I'm also going to add a little bit of Wink of Stella to the elf as well just to add a little bit of sparkle and shine to my little mini book page. This is a really cute and fun way to create a little mini book. I had so much fun creating this and all I did to finish this up was I took my hole punch and I cut a hole in the top left hand corner of my little pickup. You could use a ring or you could also just tie some twine in there or ribbon and then cut as many of those little pickup truck um you know sections to add many many pages to this little mini book and there you have a sweet little book you could actually make this a gift and you could put all kinds of photos, gift cards, all kinds of things inside there as a little uh, gift for the holidays. I totally love how this turned out. And I have left uh, links in the description box below to all of the products that I used today from the Honey Bee Shop. So make sure you click those links to shop today. Have an amazing day, guys, and I'll see you another time. Bye-bye. <music>